what's in use in the capital of freedom? We are still alive in spite of the Russian missile attacks. There is an air raid right now, so you can't use public transport anymore. <laughs> All people will go on foot. What's the news in Kiev? Hello everyone, greetings from the capital of freedom. In this video I will show you how we ordinary Ukrainians live in Kyiv, live in the capital of freedom during the war time. So what's in use in the capital of freedom, what's in use in the capital of glorious Kyiv and Rus? Yeah, Russian words. Let's get started. Now nobody wants to buy apartments on the top floors of brand new buildings because very often they are destroyed by Russian drones by the way typical Soviet block of flats and this is typical post-war buildings look at this balcony Ukrainians are very resourceful. Street fairs have become very popular in Ukraine recently because all Kievan residents are trying to save to save some money. And here you can <laughs> I don't know how much you can save. Let's let's check the prices. Okay, apples 20, 23 grinas. In the supermarket you can buy apples actually for the same price. So I don't know on what products Kiev residents are trying to save money, but anyway it's it's just a cool experience to have a walk here. Ah, and here you can you can haggle. <laughs> I, I, for example, I would never buy meat here. Oh my god! <sighs> no fridges here, and right now it is plus plus five. We are still alive, but you know, at times of war, this advantage can be changed very quickly. <laughs> it's the fourth air raid since this morning. Russians are very active. Again, Russians hit residential building. By the way, Kyiv is abnormally warm for April. Uh, an average temperature in April in Ukraine is 10. Okay, 10 is the maximum, 5, 10 degrees Celsius. But last weekend we had 25 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine? What is it? Who can explain? Is it global warming or God just decided to make a gift to poor Ukrainians who are already suffering from regular Russian missile attacks? Who knows? <laughs> right now it's plus, plus 12. Not bad for April.
What's the news in Kiev? Honestly, when I started this channel, I never expected I would find so many new friends. Thank you so much. Thank you, our dear friends from California, Oblast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's still a secret, but now we have our own F-16 in Kyiv. Russians are so active tonight. can stop them what would you do during russian missile attacks would you go to a bomb shelter what would you do we are cooking as always my assistants Fedya and richa are cooking lawn storage super foods for the ukrainian soldiers Fedya. Федя. Рича. Рича is always friendly and positive. Рича. Our famous writer, Nikola Kvilevay. Soviets killed him. Finished. Richie is still cooking. <laughs> Maybe this doesn't look tasty, but it is really delicious. Richie. <laughs> І от на цих картах Московське царство раптово зникає, а з'являється Російська імперія. Хоча ще кілька в Криму в Херсонесі дан крістівся. You know, I'm trying hard to sound positive and to show you something positive, but it's not easy sometimes. <laughs> That's how we live in Kiev. Every day. Spring is in the air and Russian bombers are in the air as well. Russian terrorists are launching their missiles at Kyiv. April 2024, the capital of freedom, the capital of ancient glorious Kievan Rus. What Russians have done to our city? Obviously, all Ukrainians are tired of this war, they are frustrated, some of them depressed, but I feel sorry for the Ukrainian kids in particular, because instead of studying, they are sitting in bomb shelters, they are sleep deprived of the regular Russian missile attacks, instead of joy and hope, they see only depression, destruction, I don't know. As for my kids, I... I do my best, I try to cheer them up, but sometimes, sometimes I think, uh, who would cheer me up? Okay, no complaining, I have promised. Yes. <laughs> 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 Rich, 
Давай. Давай, давай. Рить. О, молодец. Ну, Рити. Ну. Він бачить, що там нижче. Ні, через вікно. А там палочка. Палочку, палочку треба було забрати. Річ, річ. Ну річ. Що робити? Що ж робити? Давай, Річі, давай, 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 йди сюди. Ритя, да, Ритя, ну Ритя. О, молодец! Ритя, Русня нам все зруйнувала. in Kyiv, the city of happiness. Yeah, the city of happiness. Today Richard will tell you a story about one Ukrainian boy who lives next to the occupied territory and who was greeting Ukrainian pilots every day. He was greeting them with the Ukrainian flag. And last week Ukrainian pilots decided to bring toys to that boy, yeah? Richard, because Richie. No, because good will prevail over evil. Rich. Thank you for watching. Pray for Ukraine and goodbye.